Okay, we're here with Rebecca Alti. She's running for re-election onto city council. Rebecca, why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, we'll go from there. For sure. Um, so, as you mentioned, my name is Rebecca Alti. I'm um, born and raised here in Yellowknife. Uh, mm -hmm. Went away to university and came back and, and loved it, so I haven't left. Uh, I've worked for the GNWT in communications for a couple of years and then worked at the Hospital Foundation for close to four years. And uh, now I'm over at Avens, the community for seniors, and I'm the director of communications and community development. So um, I've really been active in the community for, for a long time, whether it's volunteering or through my work. And I've really enjoyed my last term on council, so I'm looking to, to continue that and uh, up for re-election. Okay. Why are you running for a second term? Um, I love Yellowknife. It's, it's my home. I purchased a home here four years ago, and so I want to continue to make Yellowknife a great place to live. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about the issues. What, are, what do you think will be the top issues during this election? Uh, some of the top issues would be, you know, we always hear about cost of living, and so mm -hmm. making sure that uh, that taxes and, and fees and user charges are kept intact um, or maintained. And uh, for me, I think the big thing is to focus on on maintaining and improving what we currently have before adding more. You know, we've got some parks that are in pretty rough shape. So before adding more beautiful parks, let's let's fix our current ones. And to really to look at the O and M, the operating and maintenance costs when we're looking at capital projects as well, because you know sometimes I hear it's like, oh, whatever, it's federal funding, let's get it, and it's like, well, sure, we're going to get a little bit of money now, but it's going to as long as we can maintain it for its lifespan. So, yeah. well, what it, just on that theme, like, what is your take on the 50-50 uh, lot uh, proposal? Um, for me, I, I wasn't a fan of uh, the plaza idea. You know, mm -hmm. we're a winter city, and um, it's not going to draw people downtown uh, to hang out at minus 40. So. Uh, we went out to consultation and, you know, people were talking about a library and they were talking about an arts and cultural center and, and stuff like that to, to bring some life downtown and um, I hope we can explore those ideas. What would it look like? What would it cost? And, you know, and try to go from there. What are your uh, views on, say, like uh, property taxes versus user fees? Um, I think with the, with property taxes for the past two years we've been able to keep it at zero but um, we've continuously increased the user fees and so what I'd like to see is that we um, that we're able to increase the number of, like for community rec facilities you know mm -hmm. um, if we increase the number of users we don't necessarily have to increase the fee so what's that like breaking point where we're actually going to have a decrease in revenue because people won't be able to afford it mm -hmm. and they won't come so um, I th for me I'd like us to focus on, on keeping the user fees as well um, at a reasonable rate and not just always capping or stopping uh, the property tax increase. Okay. Is there any other uh, issues that you, you'd like to address? Um, I think uh, some, one of the, the issues especially that came out uh, this week was the, the submarine intake, the water, and that's a $15 million project projected in to happen in 2020, so, you know, as a city, um, is, is that the way we want to go, or do we want to go with the, the cheaper option, um, and to really finalize that decision so that we can mm -hmm. start saving, because the $15 million is a big project, and... I heard 20. Uh, what's, yeah. What, what's, your, what's your views on that, then? Like, should we be taking water from Yellow Knife Bay, or should we be getting it from Yellow Knife River? Um, I'd like to look at the whole, the whole picture, you know, right off the bat. I, I prefer the the Yellowknife River. It, you know, it just it seems safer. Okay. Um, but when we we look at the whole, to look at the pros and cons in depth there. Okay. Any final thoughts? Um, just to any final thoughts. That's always like, mm -hmm. where do I start? Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, Canada Games is also a pretty big issue that yeah. a lot of people are talking about and. You know, um, the benefits that I hear is for the tourism, but during those months, those are our highest tourist season already, so are we going to be displacing our regular tourists for 
potentially an, a few more Canadians coming to visit. And mm. so I don't really see the benefits to Yellowknife at this stage. Okay. Well, thanks very much for joining us, Rebecca, and good luck in the election. Thanks, campaign. Mike. Yeah.